Hi, boys and girls. Here's our fun lesson for today. It's about ice cream cones. I keep thinking about them the warmer and warmer it gets and how yummy the ice cream tastes inside. Ice cream or sherbet or even yogurt ice cream, yum. Anyway, our goal for today is I can create a work of art using line, shape, and pattern. And then finally, we'll be using color. The materials you need for this lesson are very simple. All you need is paper, pencil, crayons or markers, or both. Now let's get started on our ice cream cones. Here's one that I did earlier, but as you can see, my cherry is a little bit lopsided. I ran out of room near the top, and I spent so long doing it that it's dripping off the edges. So let me go ahead and show you a different one right now. To draw this one, I'm going to turn my paper portrait style. I'm going to make a portrait of my ice cream cone. And the first thing I'm going to start with is a triangle at the very bottom. I'm going to put a dot down here. I'm going to make a slanted line going upward and another slanted line going upward, better known as a diagonal line. And then I'm going to connect the two right across here. There I've got a funky triangle. Because you know, ice cream cones aren't perfect, especially the kind I like, the waffle cones. After I did that, I'm going to add some texture and some lines in my ice cream cone. I'm just going to make straight lines in one direction and then in the other direction I'm going to cross them over. So here we go Mr. Cone. Adding some lines, creating texture. Yum! I can't wait to put my ice cream in. There we go. And I went out of the lines a little bit. No big deal because it's a homemade ice cream cone. Next step is the ice cream. Hmm, I think I want my ice cream kind of coming over curvy line like that, nice organic shape. And let me put my ice cream there, yum. But that's just not quite enough, is it? It was pretty hot today. I'm gonna make another curvy line, a little bit smaller, so it doesn't fall off of that piece of ice cream. That's another scoop. I'm going to collect my, connect my lines together. Yum. And I'm going to make my final scoop up here on the top. There, that's a really cool ice cream cone. And my cherry is not going to fall off this time. There you go, Mr. Cherry. Whoops. Now, I want to be choosing my colors carefully because I want to choose my cone color and my first color of ice cream, second and third. Now, on my cone, I used an orange on this one. It tended to look better than the yellow I started with. The yellow just seemed to be too uh, light. So I'm gonna try a nice orange down here, and all I'm gonna do is outline it. And go ahead and start coloring. And I don't have to outline over those lines because the pencil lines, because they're showing through the texture. I'm gonna color it all in. Being careful, a yummy cone. Now, for these cones, you can actually have one made out of strawberries. You can have your cone made out of blueberries or just cookie, sugar cookie cone, or just a plain cone. I like those too. I think they're all good. I'm having to hold my paper down so it doesn't wiggle around so I can color, solid color. So be sure you hold it with your opposite hand. There, yummy cone finished. Now, my first flavor that I want is going to be blueberry. So here we go. 
I'm going to trace around that blue. Well, this crayon's a little blue-green, but that's pretty too. And I better hurry because my ice cream cone might be dripping. Sometimes on curvy places, when I'm coloring them in with solid color, I just do little circles like this over and over and over. And it kind of makes it look fluffy, the texture. It's one way to do it. Now I'm going to fast forward to I don't know how much time they're, I'm getting to actually do this lesson. I hope it's a nice long time. I usually don't demonstrate this long. <gasps> Beautiful blueberry right next to that one. And my next cone is going to be, I think I'm going to have a strawberry. Let me find a nice strawberry color. Ooh. Nice strawberry color. Looking good. Color this in so it's really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. You don't have to go as fast as this as I'm going. Anyway, this is supposed to be fun. It's not a race. And it is so fun. I'm just dreaming about the colors I can put in my ice cream. And I think my top one is going to be a lime. You know, sometimes you get the sherbet flavors. A lime sherbet. Let's see. Yes, this one is it. Right here. Outline first. Then color in. Nice. See, now I'm using little tiny lines back and forth to color in. Or I could have done the circle lines. And my cherry hasn't fallen off yet. And my ice cream hasn't dripped yet. Yum, 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 And the very tippy top, we have to have red, rojo, red. Oh, it's a little pink, but that's really pretty. I like that. And you know what? I was looking at this cone a little while ago, and I noticed that it was getting ready to drip. It had a few melts here and there. I don't know how, but it kind of did. Oh my goodness gracious. And that's okay. Because you know what? I can lift those right up. Now, what else could I put on my picture? Hmm, how about my hand? Bye. See you next week.